I mean, I think the, uh, yeah, over time, AI will make jobs kind of pointless. Probably the last job that will remain will be doing writing AI software, and then eventually the AI will just write its own software. So, I don't know. I suppose I would recommend studying engineering, physics, that kind of thing, um, or working on something where people just want to interact with other people. Um, and people enjoy fundamentally interacting with other people. So if you're working on something that involves people or engineering, it's probably a good, a good approach. Um, you know, art, of course. Yeah. Like I said, I think we're going to have to figure out this Neuralink situation. Otherwise, we will be left behind. Um, it's very important we do this quickly. I think time, we don't have much time. <laughs> we don't have much time of what? We don't have much time to solve the neural link. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, it is, it's, man, you think of like technology, like technology and technology awareness, there's like, it's like, if there was like a topological map of technology awareness, it's mostly flat with a few short buildings and then some very tall spires, very tall spires. And unless you're on that very tall spire, it's not obvious what the topology is. Yeah, I never worry about the things that I cannot solve. I let other people to solve it. If nobody can solve it, just let it be. That's my life. Or make the future. So the saying is the best way to predict the future is to make it. Um, just and, and then assess whether what you're learning is enabling you to predict the future with less error. Are you less wrong? We're all, always wrong to some degree. But can you reduce the error on your future predictions? I think that's the way to look at education. As we, of course, but it's both creative, create the future, and predict the future. So that includes art and all those other things. But close the loop on being less wrong about future. I would say that's the right way to think about education. I mean, down the road with a neural link, it w you can just upload any subject instantly. So it'll be like the matrix. You want to fly a helicopter, no problem. Well, helicopters will fly themselves, but you know, if you wanted to do whatever, any, any given skill, you just upload it instantly. Um, I mean, the way education works right now, it's extremely low bandwidth. It's extremely slow. <sighs> Lectures are the worst, really. It's like very slow. Try to predict the future with less error. This is the hard. This is very hard, as you were saying. I'm not sure it's 99.9%, .9%, but it's it's not very good generally our prediction of the future. But I think often people don't try. The first thing is try. If you don't try, okay, you know, got You got to try, and then yeah. and then adjust based on the error of your prior predictions. Yeah, I think uh, just to try is very good. We should always have the confidence to try the future. And I never worry about the errors and the mistakes. Errors and mistakes that are the best assets of human lives. And the humans, I think that when people worry about the, the disasters that AI is going to bring in, I think it's not the disasters. It's the mistakes that human beings make and trust human beings will be able to correct the mistakes and improve themselves. And that we, we need education. How can we making sure that the machines are always the toys and, and tools of humans rather than the control? So I never in my life, and especially last two years when people talk about AI, say uh, human, human being will be controlled by machines. I never think about that. I think it's, 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 it's impossible, right? It's impossible because human beings, they are different. Machines are invented by human beings. And according to the science, right? Humans can never create another animal that is smarter than humans. Especially when you have so many smart people, it's impossible to make another smart 
people. I, I very much disagree with that. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, I mean, the first thing we should assume is that we are very dumb, um, and we can, de we can definitely make things smarter than ourselves. I mean, the, they didn't used to be humans, right? So the, uh, then the, our early civilization was very primitive. Um, we didn't have any technology, really. We we're just like running around, you know, trying to not get eaten uh, or just trying to survive a winter. Now we have like heating and we grow food. This is all new stuff. So. You know, things have obviously gotten way more smarter than the past, way smarter. So that's going to continue. We are not the last step in evolution. So the most important thing, like I said, the most important mis mistake I see smart people making is assuming that they're smart. They're not. Yeah. So give me an example what uh -huh. the animals or things that a human being made that is smarter than human beings. Well, computers actually are already much smarter than, than people on so many dimensions. We just keep moving the goalposts. Uh, so we used to think, like, for example, being good at chess was an example of a smart human. And then Kasparov was crushed by Deep Blue in 97. That was a long time ago. 22 years. I mean, right now your cell phone could crush the world champion at chess, literally. Um, Go used to be sort of thought of as something that humans were better at than computers. Then Lisa Dahl was beaten 4-1 four, four by AlphaZero. Then uh, a new version of AlphaZero, oh, I should say AlphaGo. AlphaGo beat Lisa Dahl 4-1. Then uh, there's AlphaZero. AlphaZero crushed AlphaGo 100-0. to zero. Now it's just pointless because it just keeps playing itself. It, humans are it, uh, trying to play a, a computer Go is like trying to fight uh, Zeus, it's a, not going to work. Are you, ho hopeless. We are hopeless, hopelessly inadequate. Um, in terms of rendering, in t like the, the, basically, there's just a smaller and smaller corner of, of what of intellectual pursuits that humans are better than um, computers, and that every year it gets smaller and smaller, and and soon we will be far, far surpassed in every single way, guaranteed. 100%. Okay. Or civilization will end. Those are the two possibilities. Okay. Um, yeah, my view is that um, computer may be clever, but human beings are much smarter. Yeah, definitely not. Clever is very academic, is knowledge driven. Smarter is experience driven. Co computer is smart, is clever, but it's human being. We invented a computer. I never see a computer invented a human being. This is my first point. Second point is that um, about a go play chess. It's stupid to compete with a computer on play go. Just like a hundred years ago, where human being created cars. So human being said. I can run faster than a car. It's impossible. It's only stupid people to compete with a car who run faster. Go is designed for human to play with human, right? The chess is designed for human to human. Why should a human to fight against a, a computer? So I never ever play chess or go with computer. I'll be happy to see two computers fight each other. I'm not interested in play go with chess. So I told <laughs> those guys, they are very sad. So, ah, computer will be smarter than human beings because computer can play chess better. Ah, I think you are stupid to compete with that. Don't do that. So this is, well, this is we well, always do things we are good at. Sure. Okay. Well, what would be an example of something that humans are better than a computer at, and and then let's see if that happens. Well, humans computer is only one of the clever tools that human created, and hu computers are are clever. But there will be more tools that human beings will created much clever than computers. That's my view. Okay. Well, let me tell you. Like my view on the on AI is essentially the um, you can view the advancement of AI as solving things with increasing numbers of degrees of with increasing degrees of freedom. So the the thing that the thing with the most 
no, most degrees of freedom is reality. Um, but uh, AI has steadily advanced solving things that have more and more degrees of freedom. Uh, so obviously it's something like...